Hey web admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let me walk you through the process of installing Apache and deploying a basic virtual host. There are a number of ways you can install Apache on Ubuntu. If you simply want the basic server software, you can open a terminal and issue the command sudo apt-get install apache2-y. You'll also want to make sure to enable Apache to start upon a server reboot or boot. To do that, issue the command sudo system control enable apache2. You can verify your installation by opening a web browser and pointing it to http colon slash slash server IP, where server IP is the IP address of the server hosting Apache. You should be greeted by the Apache welcome page. Back at the terminal window, rename that index.html file with the command sudo mv slash var slash www slash html slash index.html slash var slash www slash html slash index.html dot bak. Now let's create a new welcome file. Issue the command sudo nano slash var slash www slash html slash index.html. In that file, paste the following. Less than, exclamation point, cap doc type, html greater than, less than, html greater than, less than, body greater than, less than h1 greater than, hello, comma, tech republic, exclamation point, less than, slash, h1 greater than, less than p greater than, how are you doing, question mark less than slash p greater than, less than slash body greater than, less than slash html greater than. Save and close the file. Reload the web page in your browser and you should see the change. What we're going to do now is create a virtual host for Apache to serve up. Create a directory to house a test site with the command sudo mkdir dash p slash var slash www slash html slash test. Next, we'll give the new directory the proper ownership with the command sudo chown dash capital R dollar sign user colon dollar sign user slash var slash www slash html slash test. Finally, we'll grant the proper permissions with the command sudo chmod dash capital R 755 slash var slash www slash html slash test. Copy our new index.html file into the test directory with the command sudo cp slash var slash www slash html slash index.html slash var slash www slash html slash test. Now we have to create the virtual host configuration so Apache knows where test is. This will be housed in slash etsy slash apache slash sites dash available. To do that, we'll create the test.conf file with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash apache2 slash sites dash available slash test.conf. In that file, paste the code you see in the article below. Save and close that file. What we have to do now is create a link from that configuration into the slash etsy slash apache2 slash sites dash enabled directory, which can be done with the command sudo a2n site test.conf. After that command succeeds, you then must reload Apache, which will only reload the configuration files, not restart the web server, with the command sudo system control reload Apache 2. Now, if you point your browser to http colon slash slash server IP slash test, where server IP is the IP address of the server, you should see the same hello tech republic welcome as you did with the basic index.html file. Only, it's being served from our newly created virtual host. Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel. And be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.